As an au pair the third time around, I've conjured up some things that I don't like and that I do like. There are some things that I don't like. Today's video is gonna be my personal pros and cons of being an au pair. Also, make sure you subscribe to APOP, of course, so you can see more videos like this in the future. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Pairs. My name is Atavia. If you don't know my face by now, girl, you're going to be seeing me here on the A-pop channel for the next few months because A-pop is doing this amazing thing where they're bringing in other old pairs to be on the channel and you're just going to see my face. If you haven't checked out my own personal channel, I also do YouTube videos. My name is Atavia Tatiana here on YouTube and I would love if you subscribed. So if you want to see this video, make sure you stay tuned. Reason number one I like being an au pair, especially being an au pair in Europe, is that I have the opportunity to travel. I am an au pair in Paris, but right now I am in Malta. I am in Malta, Italy. I keep wanting to say Malta, Italy. This is like the pros of being an au pair because if you're, at least if you're in Europe, other countries are easily accessible. You can get to different places by bus, train, plane very easily on the cheap if you plan it correctly for a round trip ticket to a new country to explore a new culture and I think that's so amazing. You guys can see some clips from my trip here. This one is stuffed with peas. Now on the flip side, the con to that is you can really only travel during the kids holidays. If you're an au pair in France, most kids have holidays for two weeks, but chances are you're working one of those two weeks and then the other week, of course, you can travel, but then you have to plan your schedule around that. So of course, you just have to take that into consideration. If you didn't know, Edwina and Hannah already made a video on this topic of traveling as an au pair on an au pair budget. So if you wanna check out that video, make sure you click whatever link, pop-up link that's gonna show up on the screen. <laughs> Reason number two I like being an au pair is because as a black American who grew up in a very low income household, I'm experiencing things that I wasn't able to experience before. For example, my family can take me with them on their vacation and I'm seeing a new country, I'm seeing a new culture, and I don't have to stress about not being able to afford these things. A large, you got your money, he got money, get it all for him. Being an au pair has kind of opened my mind and opened my horizons and possibilities of what I can do and what how I can live. And it's just shown me different ways that people live. I don't know if y'all have ever seen the houses in Paris, the ways the families live. I've seen some crazy rich houses with elevators inside, with maids, with y'all. I've just seen different things because of, just simply because I'm an au pair. Number three is, as an au pair, people view you as a student. A lot of the times you're getting student discounts. I've gotten pretty much student discounts on everything. Like my Metro Pass, I got a student discount. When I go to museums, I get a student discount. Different things that are discounted for students. As an au pair, you kind of get those same discounted rates, which is like so, so sweet. I love cheap things. If it's free, it's for me, so I love that. And then the con to being a student au pair the student rate is that legally you can't make more money whatever's in your contract is kind of just your cutoff you cannot get a second job you can't be under a contract with another company so even if you're only working 15 hours for a family if you're legally in the country on an au pair visa you can't go out and get another job and the au pair budget is like so so small the pocket money that it would be nice to have the ability to make other means if wanted or necessary. All right, number four, the kids. I love kids. I've been a nanny, an au pair, a tutor, a teacher for most of my freaking life, honestly, and I truly adore kids. I adore the ease of being an au pair and literally being able to play on the job. Like every day I'm playing with the kid, we're having fun, we're playing games, we're dancing, we're singing, and I just, I love that. That like gives me a lot of energy in my life. I myself think of myself as a kid sometimes. 
So being an au pair just lets that out. I get to have fun. I get to dance and sing and just play and live life. Like it's not really a strenuous job if you have a good family. It's really a simple job. You pick up the kids, you take them to classes and all that. It's really a simple, easy, cultural exchange. Now, the con to this is a big one. This can make or break you. I would say it's more of an issue with the parents than it is with the kids. But when the parents do not discipline their kids, it makes your job 20,000 times harder. For example, most of the families I've experienced are very lenient, just hands-off kind of parenting, which is cool, I respect it. But also it's like, what do you do when your kids aren't listening to the au pair or you're having conflict? It's kind of, it's one of those things that's hard to talk about because since the kids don't have structure in that way, when there's an issue, there's not really an obvious way to deal with it so then that gets into like a sticky situation and you know you got a problem on your hands so i would say the best way to deal with that is to talk with the parents and make sure you set out something it's not all flowers and daisies all the time naturally kids are gonna have their days where they're awesome and they're gonna have their days where they're not so awesome so it's important to set a structure to make your life easier as an au pair. So reason number five I love being an au pair is because making friends. Making friends as an au pair has been one of the easiest ways that I've made friends. It's kind of like you're in school all over again because here's a group of people that are going through the same things as you are and all you have to do is reach out on the APOP Facebook group or attend one of the meetups. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Wow, okay. Oh, of hey. course. Or post, a, post something on the Facebook group and voila, you have these people who are willing to be with you, who are supportive, who are lovely and that's just been so essential for me because the first two times being an au pair, I didn't make friends that easily and it, it kind of took a toll on my experience. Now, the con to this is since you're an au pair and the contract is temporary, when everyone's gone, they're gone. You know, at the end of the summer, everyone's going home. Even if you decide to stay in the country that you were au pairing in, your friends are gone. If they're au pairs, they're gone back to their home country. They're going to university. So it's really like kind of you're going through that split of when you graduate high school, it's the same thing all over again. So if you're okay with that, yes, you can keep in contact with those friends, but of course it's not gonna be the same experience that you guys had. So I would just say, take advantage of your friend, not take advantage, but take advantage of your friends being present while you have them while you're in that au pair year like really if you need help call on them if you want to hang out call on them because they're gonna be gone in a few months so comment down below how have you guys made your friends during your au pair year or how do you plan to make friends or have you not made friends yet let us know in the comments down below and the last reason I really enjoy being an au pair is the support of a host family. You're in this other country and sometimes things go wrong. And if you have a great family, it's so nice to be able to call upon them if you have a question or if you need help translating something. I've had that experience where I've called upon my host family to help me contact someone in French. And it's just nice to know if something goes wrong, you have this family that can support you because of course you have your own family in your own country, but they're, they can't really help you if something goes wrong while you're 2000 miles away or whatever. Now the con to this is I kind of find that I'm in and out of being like a family member and then being a worker. I can never really find that balance of Oh, am I just like a worker to you guys? Am I just like a nanny? Or am I like a, a sister to your child? You know, so finding that balance of family member and 
worker is like the perfect in between. I've found it in my experiences kind of hard to find. All right, y'all, I wanna thank you guys for watching this week's video. And this is Apop, and Apop is an amazing community. If you haven't already subscribed in the beginning of the video, you can now subscribe down below. It's free, it's free, it's for me, say it with me. If it's free, it's for me, and it's for you too, baby. Now that's not my line, I'm not gonna lie. I got that from Damon and Joe. I really enjoyed making this video, and if you enjoyed it too, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, bye, au pair. Mm -hmm.